what's going on guys my name is Darren I'm a bow tie fragrance guy here on YouTube and I talk about fragrance and fashion so if you're into fashion if you're into fragrance this may be a channel that you find some value in so if you do I hope you guys won't mind hitting the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon as well that way you get notified anytime new content is uploaded on this channel so guys today I'm gonna to be comparing and contrasting two fragrances now, when I asked you guys um, on my community page about uh, some of your favorite or most complimented fragrances, a lot of you guys listed the fragrance uh, Oud for Greatness from the house of Initio Parfums. So recently here in a swap, shout out to my guy Ryan again, uh, we did a swap uh, for a fragrance that I've kind of wanted to get my nose on for quite some time uh, from the house of Parfums de Marley, and I'm talking about Haltain. Now this fragrance was an exclusive to Harrods. And I'll be honest with you guys, it was a little bit more expensive than the typical um, Parfum de Mali fragrance being a Harrods exclusive. But also I'm gonna be, this is maybe something very trivial, but a part of collecting is the presentation aspect. And I am not a fan at all of the color of green. Like typically, like green is like, just it's just never been uh, one of my favorite colors. I don't look good in the color green and again, it's just not one of my favorite colors So the bottle if you never seen Haltain is comes in a green bottle with a gold cap So that was kind of turning me off as well. I'm just being honest, but I smelled it and it did smell very familiar I think I smelled it Can't remember where but I smelled it somewhere and when I smelled the fragrance it, it reminded me of Ooh for greatness So I was like ah, oh, the bottle price Kind of smells like oofa greatness, so you know, just let me hold off. So again, shout out to Ryan. I was able to swap this fragrance, and now I have it in my collection, and I wore it. And I will tell you, of course, th these fragrance DNAs are very, very similar. They're similar, but there are some differences here, and I just want to kind of talk about those differences uh, today to see which one, you know, especially for you guys out there that love oofa greatness, um, to let you know which one I think I like better, and to kind of give you guys maybe an alternative. Uh, to Oud for Greatness as well. So this is going to be kind of fun. If you want to see my thoughts on Oud for Greatness, as well as Haltain from Parfums de Marley, then you guys know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Fragrance guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. So again, today we're going to be talking about <clears throat> this fragrance from the house of Initial Parfum, which is Oud for Greatness. Um, I, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Oud for Greatness was released first. Um, but of course, something that is very uh, interesting and noteworthy. Uh, both of these fragrances, from what I understand, are under the same parent company. So. That's also something that could be very uh, interesting and add some intrigue to this story and this, com this contrast and comparison here. And of course, this is Haltain from Parfums and Marley. So this is what the bottle looks like, guys. Again, green, with a gold cap. I love Parfums and Marley presentations overall, the bottle styles. But again, I'm not a fan of this color. Again, green just doesn't do it for me. I, it is what it is. I just don't, not a fan of green. Never have been. Uh, but anyway, this is about the fragrances. So we're going to compare these two today. Now, <clears throat> as you can imagine with uh, uh, fragrances that have uh, such a similar scent profile, there are notes here that you are going to find in both compositions. Off the top of my head, there's lavender in both. There is saffron in both. Uh, there is musk in both of these fragrances as well. So again, there are a lot of notes here that are very, very similar. But I will tell you, I'm wearing them both on my wrist. I am wearing uh, Oud for Greatness on this wrist and I am wearing Haltain on uh, the other wrist. And I can tell you again, the openings on these fragrances, although similar, uh, quite you know, early on in the wearing of the fragrance, you start to pick up and detect, or at least I do, detect some difference. All right, so let's get into comparing and contrasting these fragrances. Let's start with Oud for Greatness. Uh, this one opens up, you're gonna get uh, lavender, nutmeg, and saffron. Now, to me, to my nose, 
the opening of this fragrance, like that first five minutes or so, is really dominated by the saffron. Now, saffron, if you guys aren't familiar with it, uh, to me, for the most part, the way the best way for me to describe it, it kind of has a leathery uh, kind of nuance to it. And I think that would be the best way to describe it that you would probably understand. So you get more of the saffron. To me, it kind of drowns out the, the lavender and the nutmeg. I don't pick up a whole lot of the lavender uh, in this composition uh, when it opens, but I do get the saffron and I do get a slight spicy uh, kick from the nutmeg. Now, this one on the other hand, on the contrary, the Haltain uh, fragrance, this one is more clean and slightly sweet and herbaceous uh, when it opens up. So you get more of the lavender. So I'm a huge fan of lavender, huge fan of the note of lavender. Again, kind of gives this clean, uh, clean vibe to fragrances. That's the best way to describe it. So you get more of the lavender here. It's slightly sweet and herbaceous because you get some clary sage here as well. And shortly after the comp, uh, composition starts to dry down, about mm, between the five and 10 minute mark, you're gonna start to pick up even more sweetness from the note of praline. And that is really, to my nose, the major difference between these two fragrances. Now, obviously with uh, me loving gourmand fragrances, that note of praline really does something unique to this fragrance composition. Again, they're very similar. But again, the praline, especially in the Haltain, you start to really detect some differences in it because it's more of a sweeter profile. You already have that slightly sweet herbaceous quality that's coming from clary sage. And then of course you have uh, praline in this one as well. Now this one, um, the Oud for Greatness is continuing a little bit more on that uh, kind of leathery um, kind of quality although after about 15 to 20 minutes you do it starts to settle in and you do pick up a little bit of the lavender but once again i will say to my nose i get a lot more of the you know the spices and um along with the saffron uh in this fragrance so uh, those are kind of some of the, the main differences that you're going to detect in this fragrance as it opens up and then as it starts to really dry down and transition now, when these fragrances both completely dry down, the similarity that you're gonna experience here is they both have oud and they both have uh, musk uh, in both compositions. So definitely the note of oud is something that really ties both compositions together as the fragrance really reaches the, you know, the far uh, dry down. The difference, this one right here is more earthy. Uh, so this is a more earthier composition uh, you really start to have some uh, earthy patchouli note that really starts to peak uh, into this fragrance when it dries down. And with the Haltain, you're actually gonna start to pick up more of a leathery nuance when it dries down because in addition to the oud and musk, you start to pick up that saffron because it's a base note here. So the, the dry down of this one a little bit closer resembles the opening <laughs> of this fragrance when that saffron uh, really starts to uh, to come into play as the Haltain really dries down. So from top to bottom, again, there are going to be some differences and they kind of cross paths, you know, as the fragrances start to develop. Uh, you pick up elements of Oud for Greatness at different points in your uh, olfactory experience with Haltain and vice versa. So again, very similar fragrances, but at the end of the day, they are different. Now, if you talk about performance and things of that nature, they both do great on the performance from the performance perspective on my skin. They both give me at least eight hours. I think they both would really serve the same kind of occasions. I think they both could be kind of signature scents because they have that, you know, that quality to them where you could wear them in a little more casual, dressed up. And really, I think they can cross most seasons as well. So from that standpoint and perspective, they are very similar as well. Now, from a cost perspective, I think it is a little bit easier to find Oud for Greatness uh, more discounted um, at different places um, than Haltain. Again, it was an exclusive to Harris and it's starting to get out there a little bit more. But again, it's a little bit more of an exclusive fragrance, so it's harder to find that one discounted. So from a price perspective, you're probably better off looking at Oud for Greatness. But my personal opinion, at the end of the day, which one do I prefer? I am going to say this one, Haltain. And that's because of that, the sweet gourmand touch that this fragrance has from the praline 
is is really does it for me because I get more of the notes that I enjoy in halting than I do in Ooh for Greatness. Again, not saying anything bad about Ooh for Greatness. I love that fragrance. It's an amazing scent. But just for my personal uh, preference, I probably would go with Haltane because I love that sweetness. The sweetness is, in, and it's a little bit cleaner because I get more of the lavender. And I'm a big fan of the note of lavender. But that's it, guys. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this little comparison video. Maybe I'll do some more like this because obviously there's more fragrances in my collection that share a similarity like these two fragrances. But I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. You guys don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out, guys, to some other folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing so until next time guys keep looking good keep smelling even better i'll catch you on the flip side peace